Magic the Gathering is often hailed as the world's original trading card game. In this video, I'm going to talk a very brief history of Magic the Gathering, the first time major events happened, and the origin of the game. I'm Ryan. Let's go on this journey together. Now, most Magic players know that this game was created by a man named Richard Garfield. Garfield began designing the game as a grad student at the University of Pennsylvania in the 1980s, in the process earning a PhD in combinational mathematics, and then became a visiting professor at Whitman College. While at Whitman, he spent hours testing the game and tweaking the game with his students and peers. In 1993, the game was launched, and in 1994, he left Whitman College to join Wizards of the Coast. A company founded in 1990 that was not only responsible for Magic the Gathering, but eventually the Pokemon card game and Dungeons and Dragons. Magic the Gathering was a brand new concept and often hailed as the original trading card game. Card games existed, trading cards already existed, but combining the two in any way was a first. Now, in 1993 came a lot of the early revisions of Magic the Gathering, including a limited edition alpha, a limited edition beta, revised, and unlimited, all coming in 1993. Now, after Wizards of the Coast got a hold of it, the first Magic the Gathering World Championship was held on May 3rd, 1994, at the Gen Con Gaming Fair, only a year into the game's public existence, and it's already so popular as to have a World Championship. I think people knew this game was going to be something else. The first pre-release tournament was held on May 3rd, 1995 in New York City, and it was Homelands. And in 1996 was the first Magic the Gathering Pro Tour also taking place in New York City. Now, rumor has it that Pro Tour was originally meant to be promotional tour, but the people that played the game kind of twisted it to be the professional tour. And both have been thrown around by wizards and by players and by casters. And then a larger but more accessible tournament, the Magic the Gathering Grand Prix, was first introduced on March 22nd, 1997. Now, Magic is a part of, like, nerd culture at this point. And if we fast forward to 2002, the first time we really see Magic the Gathering making its way into more mainstream culture, there's a Magic the Gathering poster in Spider-Man. Now, with Magic the Gathering professional play, Grand Prix happening, competitive play, and casual play, enough people has made a name for themselves at this point. And in 2005, on May 3rd, the Magic the Gathering Hall of Fame was established. All the while in Magic's existence, releasing set after set after set, even going far as creating digital forms of Magic, where if we backtrack just a little bit, in 2002, on June 24th, Magic the Gathering Online was created, where you can collect, buy, sell cards, and play with the cards online. On July 17th, 2009, an Xbox Live version of the game came out, mostly as a goal to get more people into it. And on September 27th, 2018, Magic the Gathering Arena was released, which is another way to play online with things a little bit more streamlined and more palatable, kind of like Hearthstone, one of Magic's digital competitors. Right now, Magic the Gathering is huge. It is still the dominant trading card game, at least physically, and there are three huge ways to play on Magic Arena, Magic Online still, and most importantly in paper. I hope you enjoyed this super brief history of Magic the Gathering. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, and maybe I'll do a more complex and in-depth history. Check me out on social media. Links are above me and in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.